What's up, y'all? This is Weekend Rental, and this week we cover the game Nox. This is an action RPG, sort of like Diablo isometric style. Um, it was released in 2000 by Westwood Studios. Um, I have a lot of nostalgia for this one, so I uh, was really happy that we got a chance to play it this week and check it out with multiplayer, which is something I never really got to do for a lot of the modes. So um, really stoked to see what everyone thinks about it this week and had fun playing so we'll kick it off with a review from Filter. Yeah, uh, this is one I'd, I'd never even heard about when it was new, uh, but I'm really glad I've checked it out. I give it 4.5 Garfields out of 5. Uh, it's got that year 2000 look, like crisp sprite graphics. Uh, it really looks like a Westwood game when, when I think of like the look of Command & Conquer. Um, it's def it definitely got that thing going on. The controls are, are quite different from other uh, point-and-click action RPGs, but I like it. You've got an inertia uh, with your character that is there when they're running around. I could see this working really well on a controller uh, if it had gotten a console port. Uh, the online modes are a blast, and um, I'm really curious to check out the single-player mode because quest mode's super fun. Uh, I just want to see like what the lore is here. Like what what the heck is the story with these modern-looking kids going around doing fantasy stuff? Um, so yeah, I, I give it a four and a half, but uh, Neosense, what did you think of this one? Glad you asked, Filter. I liked this game a lot. Uh, it's super charming, cute ARPG with great pixel art. It moves fast, uh, which I wasn't expecting right away. I agree that the, the mouse controller was a little idiosyncratic. It, it took me about an hour to really feel like I got the game. But for me, where it went from like a three to a definite four is the multiplayer modes, which are frantic, quick, super fun. And I could see myself just going in on some friends in Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, or my personal favorite, the soccer game. Uh, but since uh, the Rabdo introduced this game to us, I'd like to pass on to him and see what he thought. Yeah, so for me, like I said, my review for this is absolutely skewed by nostalgia, but I'm going to give it 5 out of 5. Crazy Garfield. Uh, you know, I had a great time playing this with everyone and totally encourage people, if you love Diablo, if you love, uh, you know, any of those dungeon crawler type games, there's not as much depth in terms of like class building and that kind of thing, but the gameplay kind of makes up for it to me. Um, we had fun playing the quest mode. It kind of gives you that Gauntlet, Gauntlet Legends arcade feeling where you're grinding through a dungeon with your friends. Tons of secrets. Um, I mentioned that I don't, when we were playing, it's like, oh, there's at the end of the level, it tells you, oh, you found four out of 50 secrets in the levels. Oh man, now I just want to go back and find them. Uh, all the spells are pretty cool and really love all of the monster choices as well. And the arena mode is something that is really fun um, just because it's like you don't really often get to play arena multiplayer with a fantasy setting. So being able to cast spells and whack each other with staffs and swords and stuff like that while you're doing capture the flag or the, uh, as uh, Neo Sense mentioned, the uh, capture the flag ball mode, which is kind of like Rocket League. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just that There's something really special about that that I don't think I've seen any other game do. So I guess we'll finish up with the review from Will. Hi, y'all. Uh, I've only watched Nox via streams, but tonight I was able to play the game and I really enjoyed it. It's really fun. We did a lot of multiplayer. There's a lot of good stuff in PvP and PvE. Definitely check it out. And uh, probably going to go back and play the campaign and figure out the story. I like the settings and whatnot. Charming graphics, too. Yes, charming graphics. I'll hand it off to a Filter. End it. OK, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, go check out Nox. It's on GOG.com. And uh, thanks to all the renters this week for their reviews.